focus on that zone of genius, lean into what you know and what you can help people with the most. That's going to keep you passionate about everything you create. It's going to make your message come across in a much more confident fashion, and it's going to impact the right people. Don't get hung up on FOMO. Don't think that you have to please everyone. The right people are going to find you and your message is going to resonate and make a difference in their life. Greetings and salutations, my friend. Welcome to episode seven of Solo Podcasting Simplified. I'm Jason Sircone, and before we get started, whether this is our first chance to hang out or we've been hanging out for quite some time, I want to personally invite you to follow and subscribe to this podcast so you're the first to know when new content goes live. So whether you're watching on YouTube or listening on your favorite podcast app, make sure you crush that subscribe button, crush that follow button, and if you're on YouTube, click the little bell as well so you know when new content dedicated to your solo podcasting initiatives is ready for you to consume. Today, we're talking about niching down and getting laser focused on the content that you're creating. This is incredibly powerful in the solo podcasting space, and it's also going to transcend your podcasting efforts because zeroing in on your specialty and building content that speaks directly to your zone of genius is going to be something that makes you stand out in a very noisy world. I'm going to get to that in a minute. If you jump back to episode three of Solo Podcasting Simplified, one of the ways to speak with confidence that I shared with you was to build your content based around your zone of genius. And when you do that, it means that you're zeroing in on what you specialize in, and that's going to help others get the information they need so they can turn to you and treat you as the resource that you are. When they want to make that same transformation and they see you as the guide that's going to take them from point A to point B, that's how you succeed. That's how you grow. And if your message is convoluted and confusing and taking people in hundreds of different directions, they're not sure which path to choose, so they're not going to choose any. There's riches in the niches, as the great Pat Flynn once said. Another big quote in this space from another well-known podcaster is to niche down or niche down until it hurts. And that's from the great John Lee Dumas from Entrepreneurs on Fire. Getting very specific about what you're doing in the podcast space and is your, in your brand as a whole is going to help you stand out because as I said, it's a noisy world. There is so much content being thrown at us on a daily basis, no matter what platform we are participating in, playing in, partaking in, there's so much coming at us from ads, from videos, from our friends' posts, you name it. We don't have the mental capacity to absorb all of it. So naturally, our defense mechanisms are going to dismiss a lot of it. But when someone is very intentional about what they're looking for, if you are positioned to give them exactly what they need, that's how you're going to make that initial connection that can get the snowball rolling downhill. But if your message has a hundred different paths that people can take, they're not going to take any. They're going to bypass you and they're going to go to the person that does have a very specific offering that gets them the transformation they want. Think about it like this. You have a leaky faucet in your bathroom. You want to fix it on your own, but you're not quite sure how to do it. What are you going to do? More than likely, you're going to turn to YouTube and you're going to search how to fix a leaky bathroom faucet. Now, you're going to get a lot of information returned to you. Which one are you going to choose? The one that says how to fix your leaky bathroom faucet now? Or are you going to choose something that says general bathroom repair or general plumbing initiatives? Fixing that faucet would fall into that category, but it's not specific enough. So, of course, you're going to lean to the one that helps you solve your specific problem. This is the mindset of anyone that turns to the internet looking for a solution to their problems 
and for a transformation that they can tangibly feel in their life. If you are a coach or consultant that's offering that type of solution, the more niche down and laser focused you get with the content you create, you're going to make much more of an impression on the people that are looking for that specific need. There's a saying that if you're talking to everybody, you're talking to nobody. As I said, it's a noisy world. There is a ton of content that we are being inundated with on a daily basis. You need to start thinking on the level of intentionality. So your target listener, customer, client, as they are turning to the World Wide Web and looking for solutions to their problems, you want to position yourself as that solution. And the more focused you can get with your content in doing that, the better off you're going to be because you're going to serve a specific purpose that gets people closer to that transformation. Have you ever watched the movie The Founder starring Michael Keaton? It's a phenomenal movie. I highly recommend it if you haven't watched it. It's the story of McDonald's and how Ray Kroc, who's played by Michael Keaton, builds the McDonald's empire. But before he gets to the point where it becomes this global brand that we know today, he partnered with the McDonald brothers who had a little burger stand in California, and he saw the potential that their model and their little speedy system had. So he takes them out to dinner and learns their story. And something that the McDonald brothers revealed when they were telling their story was that when they got into the drive-in model and had all of these different options on their menu, they looked at everything and discovered that 87% of their sales were coming from burgers, fries, and soft drinks. So instead of trying to keep this massive menu with all of this additional food and all these different offerings, they niched down and they went specifically to what people were ordering the most. And they became known as the destination for burgers and fries in that little community of San Bernardino, California. Now you look at what McDonald's has become, and obviously the menu has expanded over time, but it was that niche down approach that put them on the map. Like I said, go check out that movie if you haven't already. It's a great story, and you learn a lot too. The point is the McDonald brothers were smart enough to realize what was selling, and they doubled down, and they got laser focused on what was selling the most. That made them stand out, and it turned McDonald's into a global brand in the long run. You got to see the whole story to get the full context, but they knew what they were doing when it came to getting super specific with what they were offering their customer. That's what you can do with the content that you create, because it's going to meet people when they get intentional. That's what you need in order to grow and to stand out and to bring more people into your orbit. If you are not niching down with the content that you put in front of people, people that see it most likely through random circumstance, aren't going to know if you truly are the resource that they need because you're talking about a hundred different things. If you're talking about one thing, you're going to build trust almost immediately because people are going to be tuned into that message because that's what they're looking for in the moment. They were very intentional about the problem they wanted to solve and they found you as a resource that can help them solve it. Your solo podcast content can do that in audio and video format. It's going to make you stand out and help you cut through that noise that people are inevitably going to experience anyway. When people have constant inundation of videos and ads and TikToks and reels and pictures, and you name it, like you, I could sit here for hours and list off all of the content that's thrown in front of us. When we filter that out, what really happens is we get more intentional about what we really want to accomplish, and that's where we put our focus. And we put our focus on the resources that give back to us what we're looking for. If you're a results-driven coach or consultant that really wants to sink your teeth into solo podcasting and produce multifaceted content that elevates your brand in undeniable ways, the Solo Podcasters Mastermind is calling your name. This fully interactive 60-day mastermind was built to help you develop the right mindset for podcasting, hone your solo podcasting skills, build a well-oiled podcast infrastructure to grow your show and give you access to support from other solo podcasters. You'll even get assistance with post-production and have your show launched in less than 60 days. Get all the details and register to be part of the next solo podcasters mastermind session at jasoncircone.com slash mastermind. 
cut through the noise, get laser focused with what you're offering. Not only does this make it easier for people to find you, but it makes your life so much less stressful because you no longer have to think about offering 50 different items to help people. I know that's an exaggeration, but when you think about it, if you're offering a ton of different services to people, they don't necessarily know if you specialize in the one thing that they're looking for. And a question they may ask themselves is, does this person have what it takes to give me what I need? And are they going to give me the attention that I need in order to make it happen? Because they may be helping somebody with A and I need B. But then on top of that, they offer C, D, E, F, and G. I don't know if this is the right person for me, so I'm going to continue my search and I'm going to look for a person that just specializes in B because that's what I need and that's all I care about is what I need. So you have to think on that same level. And when you focus in on what you're creating and you get very specific about what you're doing, it makes everything easier. Like I said, the content creation speaks to that specific person, but now, not just with content, but with the actual act of working with people, you're now specialized. You are able to work with people on the one thing that you specialize in. You think about dentists. They fix your teeth. They work with your mouth. They're not also doing feet and fixing limbs and, and, and fixing broken arms. They specialize in dentistry. That's where you need to be thinking as well as what can you specialize in? What do I have to offer? And answering that question is probably easier than you think because more than likely you've already built a brand around it. Focus on that zone of genius. Lean into what you know and what you can help people with the most. That's going to keep you passionate about everything you create. It's going to make your message come across in a much more confident fashion, and it's going to impact the right people. Don't get hung up on FOMO. Don't think that you have to please everyone. The right people are going to find you, and your message is going to resonate and make a difference in their life. And you can continue to build upon that over time. But if you've got a thousand different offerings in front of people, no one's going to know specifically how you can help them the most, and they're going to move on and find a source that can now, I know that I'm in a position to talk about all this because I've made the same mistakes in the past. I used to offer a number of different solutions, and the impression I was giving anyone that found me was that I was a jack of all trades and a master of none. Now, going forward, I decided to be the scalpel instead of a Swiss Army knife. I serve one specific purpose. That's helping coaches and consultants like you take your solo podcasting efforts to the next level and focusing on this type of content to establish authority and to build relationships with your audience members. I accomplished this through a solo podcaster's mastermind. And if you want to go on a smaller scale, through a 60 or 120 minute strategy session that focuses on the most important aspects of your content creation. If you have something you want to do in the solo podcasting space, I've positioned myself as the solo podcasting resource. This is where I want to exist. And this is where I feel my skills are the most useful for helping you take your efforts to a new level. This makes my life so much less stressful because I'm now focusing on one thing that I am incredibly passionate about. And I hope that comes through as you watch or listen to this content because I'm bringing it to life in every way I possibly can. But I also get very specific about who I work with and how I can help you get to the next level. This builds my skill set. This also builds yours. Everything is transferable. But if I'm trying to do a number of different things, my attention gets pulled in a number of different directions. Same goes for you. If you're trying to help person A with this and you're trying to help person B with something else, instantly you're pulled in a number of different directions that can become stressful and it can make you question whether you're doing things right. Be the scalpel. Don't be the Swiss army knife. Get incredibly intentional with the type of content you're creating and utilize the solo podcasting approach to make sure you're making that strong connection and you're helping your listeners find you. You're giving them a new avenue through which they can learn about you and how you can help them. And even if they don't make a buying decision today, now that they've found you because you've helped them cut through the noise, 
they can remain in your ecosystem and get value from you through your podcast and all the content that you build to share on other platforms through the podcast, that's going to move them closer to that buying decision. But it starts with being super specific and getting niche down with what you're offering so people know how you can best help them out. So that will put a bow on episode seven of Solo Podcasting Simplified. I hope you had a great time. I know I did. Until our paths cross again on Solo Podcasting Simplified, I'm Jason Sircone. Good talk. I'll see you out there.